Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Episode 9 of Walk and Talk. We're in Coakley this morning, about to walk the Seacliff Bridge. SubhanAllah, it is absolutely freezing. Join us, it's still going to be a good experience inshallah, but we will definitely freeze this morning. Let's go. So this tree bears sandals as its fruits. He says in the Quran, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says, if you was to send down the Quran on the mountains, you'd find them trembling out of the consciousness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. This is an amazing sign for reflection. Allahu Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Quran a number of things that uh, he draws our attention to so we can think and ponder about him. And one of the things that he mentions is tajri fil bahr, And the ship that sails in the ocean. Now behind me there's a massive tanker. This tank is made out of steel. The property and the quality of steel is that when you throw this metal into the ocean, it sinks straight down to the bottom. But because of the shape of this steel, it's able to float. Who is the one who allowed for this buoyancy to occur? And who is the one who has allowed for this tanker to sail through the, uh, the ocean? It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gets us to think in the Quran when he says, say if the ocean was used as ink to write the words of Allah, that the ocean would not be sufficient to write the words of Allah, even if it was replaced again and again and again. This is an amazing statement to suggest the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we've reached the end of the bridge which took us about 10 to 15 minutes. I'd say give yourselves about half an hour there and back inshallah. <laughs> now that's it for our walk today. Subhanallah, how amazing and how beautiful is that scenery. My brothers and my sisters in Islam, you know, every single one of us, we may get atheistic thoughts within us. These atheistic thoughts, we need to challenge them by the way of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions time and time again in the Quran for us to think and reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants us to reflect. Allah mentions a verse in the Quran whereby He says, إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ That in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the turning in of the night and the day, that these are signs for people who want to reflect. These are signs for people who will ponder because in that there are so many lessons to learn and you appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and my sisters in Islam, you and I were always sitting in our in our offices, in our homes, hiding away from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hiding behind our screens and our laptops and engaging in all of the man-made things around us. Move away from all of these things and start to think and ponder when you look at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not enough for you to say subhanAllah and have a look at it on your screen on your phone. Go out and go and witness these things and see them for yourselves ta'ala. and this will increase your Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, you subscribe. Catch you guys inshallah in the next I'll video. I'll smash the camera this time.